A question was asked if the mini bender could do a spiral. At first I thought why not, but thinking about it a bit more, there could be some problems. So I thought I would give it a try and see. For the first test, I'm going to try some 8 inch thick aluminum bar. Trying to get a bend on the end of the bar doesn't work very well. For this stiff of material, need the end of the bar to be well past the center line of the center pin. I think if the clamp didn't have so much sidewards play, could get a bend a lot closer to the end of the bar. As it is, this will leave a fairly large flat section. Not good when trying for round. Once clamped, it bends this 8th inch aluminum bar into a loop with ease. Here's where another problem shows up. The clamp cannot hold the bar and it will just spin around the center pin. To keep the bar from turning, I'm using some locking pliers to hold it. If the clamp face had some grip to it, probably would work the same as the pliers. Once I get back around to the flat part, holds just fine. For the rest of it, I'll hold it in place with the locking pliers. Well, that's not very good. Kind of a spiral, but with that large flat starting point, it's never going to be round. I didn't have any narrow 1 16th inch bar, but this will work for a test. With this thinner material, can get a bend started very close to the end of the bar. After I get a bit of the bend started, I'll rotate it a little and then start the first loop. Here the clamp is strong enough to hold the bar without using the locking pliers, if I tighten it enough. can get about a half a turn per clamp position, so it's a bit slow going. Well that's not great, but much better than the 8th inch bar. Let me see what I have around that is thinner. I found some 1 64th inch thick brass, so I'm going to try that with the 6mm center pin. This is the middle size pin the bender came with. The brass is thin and soft so it's easy to get the bend started on the edge of the bar.
the clamp easily holds the brass in place to make the bends. Well, that is by far the best. So if wanting a spiral with very thin metal, can get very close. Does take quite a lot of loosening and tightening to get the spiral to be a bit even. Here I'm going to try some 8 inch diameter soft steel rod. This is going to have all the problems of the flat bars plus its own issues. Even as small as this is, still have to have a bit of a flat section to start the bend. Yeah, this will be the problem with any round rod. It's going to want to roll over the last turn. Do a bit of makeshift clamping here just to finish it. I would think most of the uses for spiral metal are going to be for decorative purposes, so this isn't going to cut it. If you are wanting to make some metal spirals, this is not the tool for it. Very thin metal can get close, but without some special pins or modifications, I don't see this bender making a decent looking spiral. Maybe with a lot of patience and work, but a tool is not the right tool if it requires a lot of patience and a lot of work. Thank you for watching.